You're live. Hey, everyone. Is anybody out there yet? Oh! Wow. You guys didn't do this any of the other weeks. What's up with that? They're like, yeah, last one. Maybe. Who knows? Hey, it's Melody Sweets. You're here with Sweet Spot live stream. We're going to give a few minutes for some friends to, to clock in, to log on. What do the kids call it these days? We have a few friends with us. Already. Hi, a few friends. I also noticed when I watched back that I do this a lot. Yeah. Like I'm caressing the uh, counter. What is that? Richard, Tickle just got really Richard excited. is with us again. Thank you, Richard, for always showing up. Hi, Richard. And Donnie Springfield is with us. Happy Hi, Donnie. Friday. Good name. Donnie Springfield. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a, a country star or something, right? Yeah. Donnie Springfield or old school. He'd be coming along with Tom Jones or something. Anyway, hi, everybody. Today we are making uh, my coveted cannoli recipe. Actually, it's not the recipe that I almost got murdered over in episode four. Spoiler alert. But it is just as good, and it's really pretty. And since this episode is in color, I thought I'd make it really pretty. So it's ruby chocolate, which is a beautiful pink, and pistachio yummy cannoli. We have very special guests coming in today. Uh, right now, behind the scenes, we have Jordan Adler. He's one of our sponsors. We have Letty Lopez, who did all the makeup for the uh, entire season. We've got Mike back on, uh, Mike Thompson back on the camera from Light Forge Studios. And of course, co-creators of Sweet Spot, Miss Tickle, and the beautiful Penny Pivots. Oh, oh, and we have some, oh, we've got, come here, Blue, come say hi to everybody. Blue, Pearl, come, come. You guys sit for me. You sit? Oh, what a good rubbish. So if you guys hear any heavy breathing, it's not me, or maybe not anyone in the back, but. It might be me. It might be Penny. She's a heavy breather. And we have a musical guest, Joshua Danger, coming in from the fridge in a little bit. And the beautiful Miss Buttercup, of course. And our very special guest to come in a little bit later is the Guy Fieri. And um, I have some questions to ask him about his diet, really, because... He's looking really red these days, and uh, maybe he should switch from diners and dives to to something else. I don't know. Anyway. Um, salads and soups? Salads and soups. Yeah. I'm sure he'll appreciate that when he gets here. Alexa is with us. Hi, Alexa. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. Mine was really amazing. Got to spend it with family. And you guys. Um, all right, well, let's get started. And we had, like to bring out our very fabulous sous chef, the lovely Miss Buttercup. <laughs> Buttercup stars in episodes five and one in that outfit, actually. She's yes. our smash queen. And she's also a fabulous burlesque performer who rules this town. Oh, go on. And burlesque. Yeah, go on. <laughs> and also, if you ever want to take a trip to the Burlesque Museum, Burlesque Hall of Fame, she will be there. She'll give you a lovely tour of all of our fabulous legends on the wall. All right, should we get bacon? Let's do it. Let's I get love some... cannoli. I'm glad. So do I. I am going to have everybody stuffing. They're cannolis. Hello, Melody and Buttercup from Dave Walton. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Christina and Ciao. Uh oh, Ciao, Christina from Roma. I'm making cannoli. Uh oh, I gotta talk to you about that. All right, let's get some music going, shall we? Let's get this. Hey, Josh. Yeah. Oh gosh, can you come out? Tell Beans just. Well, to... can I? Yeah, come on, come on out. You have been released. You have been. Uh oh, Pearl's gonna. There we go. All right, Joshua Danger, yeah. where's your gear? Oh, let me go get it. Okay, he's got to get his gear. Hold on. Yeah. That's all right. We've got some time today. You got it? Everything good? Oh, everything's well, great. Is it plugged in? I'm out of the fridge. Everything's great. All right. So, Joshua's been chilling in the fridge for, I don't know, about a year now. Yeah. Probably about a year. So let them get so fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
let them get warmed up a little bit, if you know what I mean. All right, let's get going. We're making ruby chocolate pistachio cannoli. And uh, what we will do first is I'm going to chop up some pistachios while Buttercup gets some chocolate melting. Let's get that one going first. Got it. And then we'll get this one going. Uh oh, I gotta, I gotta chop like Buttercup. Every week, I notice that when she chops, she chops to the beat. Oh yeah, how's everybody doing today? How's everyone's holidays? Let me know some fun things that happened. Did you survive your families? I did. I call it going to Wawa. That's an inside family joke. If anyone's watching. All right, so we're just chopping up some delicious, delicious roasted and salted pistachios with my fabulous sweet spot knife. It is one of our sponsors, Messerstall. <laughs> Messerstall knives. Felicity Munson can pronounce it way better than me. How is Felicity doing, Penny? I haven't seen her in a while. Good. She's doing all right? Yeah, well, you know, she's never quite good. Oh, she's making it there, there too. Very good. We miss her here at Sweet Spot. I wonder if she was just getting a few more stitches in her fingers. Am I doing all right with the beat, Buttercup? Doing all right. Josh has a band in his voice. There it is. See us the horn section. Oh yeah. I'm gonna chop these a little finer than I usually do. Because I kind of want the green to come out. <laughs> oh man, I should get you out of the fridge more often. Yes, you should. Hey there. Here we go. Uh -huh. How are we doing, Buttercup? It's coming along. I need another 20 seconds. Don't we all? Oh. How is everybody out there? Tell me some good holiday stories. Christina, did you make anything delicious for Christmas in Roma? Hello, darling. How is everyone? Richard gave us a thumbs up. Very good. And Christine, she made the most gorgeous lasagna. Ooh. I'm going to have to steal that recipe. If you'll share it with this Italian girl, Italian to Italian. All right, so we've got some. I should probably just keep chopping. But How's that look? That looks good. We're using a different chocolate, you can tell, huh? Yeah, a little bit. This one melts it nicer, though. I like it. Yeah, we might need to melt it a little more. Uh, we'll see. Let's get the other one going. And we'll maybe come back to this. Melody, do you remember when she was baking with us last week? Yes. How did it turn out? You guys it turned out good. And you still had some of that cheesecake in the freezer. Very nice. I have yet to make a cheesecake yet. Oh, we're going to get there. Oh, yeah, actually, we should get some libations going. We've got Penny Pippets. We never decided on a, a name, did we? Name. For Penny Pippets Cocktail Time. Last week, we were trying to figure out a title for that for that moment. Uh, Tickle said she had a, oh, well, had a name. Idea. How about lubricating the penny? That sounds naughty. Lubricating the penny time? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna put that in as a contender. <laughs> I do like lubricating. All right, so I've stopped chopping on time. I failed you, Buttercup. So we're gonna set these to the side. We're gonna set that to the side. 
And we're gonna give a little space for Miss Penny P. You say Penny P, Penny P. Oh, oh yeah, she's Penny P. Hi, I'm working on my posture. Um, hi everybody, welcome to Pouring with Penny or <laughs> Lubrication with me. Lube libation. Lube libations. Let's get liquored up. Um, again, uh, just a side note, you don't have to drink in general. So don't feel bad about that. Um, even though everyone's in, enjoying themselves around you, who cares? You can be yourself and you don't need alcohol. But sometimes I do. So I'm going to share something that I thought would be fun for New Year's. If you want to stay awake, you're like, I'm staying awake midnight. But like me, if you're like me, you sleep at 1030 and you're like, how am I going to do it? This is insane. Wait, what time is it? And then it's still like 1005 and you're like, huh? This is gonna help you. Besides cocaine, I like to drink coffee sometimes. Um, and what's better with coffee than coffee and um, vodka? So we're gonna make um, an espresso martini, which technically isn't a martini. Did you know that? Uh, yes. Feel like you 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 didn't. Anyway, um, so uh, so uh, uh, we're gonna make a martini. Technically, is what I read on Wikipedia, so you know it's right. Um, it has to have gin or um, vermouth in it for it to be technically a martini. Yes. So all that, all those other bullshit martinis aren't even martinis, but we're gonna call it a martini. Hey, watch your language. You have family watching. Who said that? Uh, I said it, but your family, uh, Ayla? Oh, my sister! Ayla. My other sister and from, uh, says hi. oh, Katya, <laughs> that's my niece. Okay, I'll watch my language. Okay, this is not a kid's show. Am I mean? I'm mean to the kids. Hey, dirty, I'm sorry, kids. Oh, oh, dirty! Dirty, the dirty Martini, the fabulous burlesque performer who is here with Dita Von Teese's show. She was our first guest, actually, wasn't she? Hi, Dirty. Thank you for joining us. We're about to get sloshed. You're right on time. Okay, so I got you. Before you start any sort of drink, it's good to have some ice. Oh, I, we don't have that. Yet. I know, but I brought it with me in a weird bag. It looks like I'm gonna put like um like a transplanted. Like I'm gonna kill someone, take their liver, and then like take it away. In this, there's just a bag of ice. And um, can I use this for a sec? Are you putting dry? I'm yes. just kidding. So, we're going to put some ice. And I've never made this before. Just um, heads up, everybody. We put a little bit of ice. And then we're going to do, let's see. So, I got this Kahlua from Alexa. I didn't have a, uh, so I had to stop by. And she lives right on the thank corner. You, so, Alexa. thank you, Alexa, for supplying the Kahlua. Okay, so in order to get like a foamy kind of thing, you use, um, let my technical, my technical speak, um, you can use egg whites, not to be used by someone allergic to eggs. So apologies to Mila. Um, we're gonna use the egg whites in here. And when you, shake it up it gets all frothy so okay i'm gonna put the actually let me put the vodka in first so i know how much i'm putting in um probably so let's do one shot let's do two shots right there and then i'm gonna put the egg white and then i'm gonna put hey can someone hand me a bowl I've never done this. I've never done this. Is this a big enough bowl? She just needs it for egg yolk. I just need to put this egg yolk somewhere. So this is like, thanks. You can do it with your hands, like that. Oh, baby! Anyone out there that likes to feel weird, gushy things? In, um, you can do it in a better way, right, Melanie? But what's happening with the raw 
egg situation. The, the egg one is going to make it frothy. Oh, oh, you're making oh. Yeah. So then we put a little bit of espresso in there, uh, provided by Voki. Thank you, Voki. Thank you, Voki. Put a little bit of... He's always good with the good coffee, isn't he? It's like two shots, but I put like one in here. And then we're gonna mix it up. Mix it up. See what happens. It's a, it's gonna be an experiment. Does it look like I'm doing something? Oh wait, it's this adult, 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 adult. Not adult, not adult. Kids show. It's really hard for me when people tell me not to do something to listen and not do the opposite. It's really hard. It's like makes me just want to do that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know how long I'm supposed to do this for. So this is a good thing to like start off the evening if you're making like a little espresso martini. It's like a good way to kind of get the alcohol going. Am I taking too long? Are you ready? No. I can go. 10 seconds. Oh, 10 seconds. So shake for 10 seconds? Anybody count? Is it? Oh. I always, uh, do you guys want to try this ruby chocolate? I'm using this brand today only because it's so pretty. The other stuff didn't get here quick enough. But what I love about this, it brings me back to my childhood. One of my favorite childhood movies was Willy Wonka. Go figure. Oh, and this is like. Move the ice. Oh. I've well, the ice is. And Judy just asked if you put the Kahlua in. I didn't put the Kahlua in yet. Oh, he said, and then take like 30 seconds more. Okay. He read the directions. I didn't. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh look! Oh, that's pretty. Uh -huh. There's bubbles. Uh -huh. Okay. Show us. Ingo, you want to pass that around? Some ruby chocolate. It's got a like an acidic raspberry kind of flavor. One day we'll have a going through the the camera kind of. You can taste it one day in the future. Smell of vision, baby. Smell of vision. Uh oh. oh Did you guys hear? Somebody's in the audience right now. Can't keep his mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna bring you out in a minute after. Uh, we're gonna actually. Oh, I know what I'm gonna have you do. All right, let's melt this just a little bit longer. Sorry. Right. Okay. So I removed the ice. Now I'm going to shake it for 30 seconds longer. There might be some dead space. I'll shake it. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna do uh, this next. Thing. No. no, I'm doing this next. Okay. I'm so excited about this drink. Espresso martinis are one of my favorites. Oh man, Christine, if you're still watching, do you remember drinking those espresso martinis at bar 13? And we got in a fist fight with that guy. He wouldn't stop trying to dance with me and he was like bouncing on me. So I bounced him off again and then and then he like swung at me and I went down and then Christine in a drunken I don't know where she came from because she was wasted. Is this too much information, Christine? I'm sorry, breaking the fourth wall all the way in these shows, these weekly shows. Anyway, we kicked some bootay and then we got kicked out of the club. Yeah. I mean I worked there, so I had to come back. It's fine. You know how it goes. New York and New York is in my heart. All right, so I am cheating. I'm making it super easy for us today. These cannoli are from our local uh, Italian shop, Cucino's. 
So thank you, Cuginos. Ah, they make some uh, pretty delicious soya sal and some good meatball soap. You forgot something from that story. She said, never forget that ring of walking surrounding us. My mom said, Kelly Osborne. Oh, Kelly Osborne was there, I forgot. Who, I mean, I don't even think I knew who she was. <laughs> don't tell her. All right, so we're going to dip us some cannoli, and we're going to get both sides. And this just makes it really pretty. There is a dog licking my foot right now. That's nice, baby. Not on camera, though, okay? I showed you in private. We should do that. Get out of here. Oh, he's eating your ice cubes, Anais. They'll be extra smooth. All right, so we're going to dip some of these. I kind of like to throw them on rather than dip because I don't like the chocolate coming off. So we'll do that really quick. But look how yummy that looks already. This makes me happy. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep dipping, and in a minute, we're going to bring out our special guest as soon as we uh, get our drinks going. I can't believe Kelly Osborne was there. Does anyone else have any fun celebrity stories for us? Jada Pinkett Smith tried to beat up my girlfriend one time. Wow, she's fiery. Jada Pinkett Smith tried to beat up Miss Tickle's girlfriend once. That's, that's funny. She's a fiery cracker. I tried to pull Katy Perry off the stage once. That's a long story. I also worked there. <laughs> I got kicked out. What happened? I found voice work with Matt while Coco dancing on a bar. Oh, really? And how'd that go? That was great. I love voice work. Yeah. We used to have some wild nights in New York. Now we have wild nights in Las Vegas. I know. <laughs> Uh oh, is Buttercup back there singing? Yeah. Hey there. Get it, Buttercup. Okay, watch this, watch this. This is it. Oh, I'm supposed to put a little. That looks amazing. I should be moving quicker than this. Here we go, white chocolate. This is the cannoli song. This is the cannoli song. This is the cannoli song. Oh yeah. This is the cannoli song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You put a hole in the middle. No, no, baby. It's the cannoli song. It's the cannoli song. It's the cannoli song. It is cannoli. Oh, cannoli. Oh, Oh, it's just you. Yeah. What kind of trick is this? 
<laughs> Cheers, everybody. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Isn't that good? Yeah, that's like, oh, it's okay. I'm like, hello. It's a lot of coffee. I love a lot of coffee. Yeah. A lot of coffee's great. All right, ready? See my head shake came in again? Maybe I had too much coffee already. Do I have a white foam on my mouth? No, it all looks good. Very kissable. Okay. Um, should we share that one drink with everyone? <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna bring in our special guests. I gotta be clean for the other day. I like I like the dipping method. That's working for me. Right? There's many ways to cook. Oh, don't 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 tell her I did that. Look. When you're in my kitchen, we do things my way. When we're in Melody's kitchen, we try not to fuck it up. But I, there we go. Making up nuts. That's okay. Some of these nuts are not very small. It's making it hard. What's happening? I leave for two seconds. You're doing a great job. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to go and get our ricotta out yeah. of the fridge. So our ricotta has been in the fridge for a few hours. The best is overnight. You want to get a lot of the moisture out of the cheese. That's kind of the, a little bit of a secret of it. We're going to squeeze some of this. But first, I want to bring in our very special guest. He is known on Food Network for diners and drives and something like that. What's the show? I haven't seen it. Sorry. Divins, diners, diners, and drives, and dives. And dives. And he eats a lot of diner drivey food. Yeah. And he makes his he makes his face really red. And I'm really concerned about his health. Where is he? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the brilliant Mr. Guy Fieri. <laughs> Doggies and cannolis. <laughs> Leave the dog. Right, we're doing cannoli. cannolis. All right. Uh oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let, let me just oh, my the chaos in this kitchen. I'm gonna put these in the freezer really quick, right? Because we need to harden the white chocolate. You gotta harden the white stuff. That's right. Baby. My mom is. That's good. Cool. You did a nice job on the spectacular. Thank you. Cashews. Very beautiful, baby. Thank you. Am I doing? All right, I, I thought that you could actually help me out with this. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I, I love, first off, I just want to say I love Las Vegas, and I went to UNLV, so it's so nice to be back at home, baby. You know what I mean? Nice, and in the nice kitchen. Here, yeah. I got the bling bling and the thing thing, but I'm ready to go. Yeah. And you just opened up some restaurants here or something. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. They... What I do is do a cheeseburger should be illegal, let me tell you. I mean, what do you put they're about, in it? They're about this high. I put everything on. Anything illegal? Oh, I'll, no, no, no. But, I know, but maybe we'll get like a dispensary license or something like that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And make some, some uh, wacky, wacky burgers. You know what I'm talking about? Wacky burgers. I yeah. like that. But you did a beautiful job on. I've been wanting to ask you, where did you get your culinary experience? Because you're such a good baker. I'm not Thanks, a baker. Guy. You know? But you, I'm more of a food guy, but your baking skills are off the charts, baby. Thank you. I learned by the school of hard knocks. Oh, you did? All right. So you, you, you have a passion for baking. I have a passion for baking. I used to make 
me and a lot of other people happy when I was younger. And during the pandemic, I started baking again and started bringing it all to my neighbors because I was getting really curvy. Because you're making so much. You're getting curvy? All I was right. getting really curvy. <laughs> a lot of us were getting curvy. Yeah. I mean, I'm we're still... We're busted out of our I'm jeans. There, but I'm okay with it. So we, we need to um, squeeze some of the liquid out. Exactly. Because that's the secret. A lot of people don't know. They put it in. It's gooey. It makes a mess. You get that liquid out. It gives it that beautiful cons consistency. Then you can get it into the, into the canola. Yeah. You want to you wanna have Help me. You have to do it pretty nice and light, right? Because you'll see the cheese will start squeezing. Yeah, through like the, little cheese ball. Yeah, right. but most of the liquid has uh, drained. Already. You've already done that. But now, I want, you, now, I can really, you explain to the folks what you're using to get the liquid out? Because that's very important. Most people have no idea. This is a cheesecloth. Right. Rightly named. No, a lot of people don't know that. They don't even know cheesecloth exists because it's very, when you eat cheesecloth, it just, it doesn't, it just, you know, takes a while. You're you know, really when, good at talking your way out of actually cooking. Actually working, you know what? Yeah. Oh, thank you so Do much. Do you actually make anything? In no, not really. No, I, but I never turned down a chance for free booze and free food. That's the whole. That's the whole thing about diners, drive-ins, and dives. Wow. I go to some place. I try the food. Genius, I go, mm, really? mm, 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 no piece of taco grease, and they they give it to me for free. Uh, dive, dive, drywall. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> diners, drive-ins, and dives. I have a, a oh, question. Thank oh, thank you. I get the red cute. mushroom. That's pretty cute. Oh, I guess. oh I have a question about. Um, you know, you're on Food Network a lot, right? So right. You're, you're That's on the where I started. I won a contest, and I got on. And then soon after that, I got a big deal with uh, TGI Fridays, and then I got two shows. Wow. That's lucky. I was going to actually ask about your friend. Uh, who's the guy? He goes around, and he um, has these competitions with regular barbecues, uh, reg regular families. And oh, doing like, the barbecue. Oh, yeah. What's his name? About. Bobby Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. Okay, I have a question about Bobby always, Flay's all over the place, baby. I've always wondered this, though. If he, he never wins in any of those shows against regular people, and I, I often wonder, how does he have restaurants if, he, if his food isn't as good even as, as the amateurs? As the amateurs. I would say that's a producer decision. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you say it's a producer decision? Isn't he one of your buddies? Oh, he's a great guy, man. He's doing really, really well. You know, he doesn't have he doesn't have the bling bling and the and the hair and the goatee like me. He's just you know like a, but he's a good looking guy. Okay, very good. But he's got some he's got some uh, you know I think you really like him. You think so? Oh yeah. I actually he's performed for him before. He was very uh, very sweet about it. He loves the ponies, by the way. He loves he loves horse racing. Oh man, this is some party. By the way, these are delicious. Yeah. Very nice job. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Buttercup helped me. We, uh, Buttercup, we outstanding. Topping you up. Oh yeah. man, I won't be able to do anything else the rest of the day. It'll take me 30 minutes just to get my bling off. <laughs> All right, so we have the cheese out of the cheesecloth. Right. You can see it's a bit, a bit thicker than. Um, than it was when you first got right. it. Uh, no one likes loose cheese, by the way. No one likes loose cheese. Uh, yeah. Loose cheese is bad, baby. Uh, thank you for that tip. Cheers. Oh, thank you for cheers. being thank here today. Thank you so much, Melody. Anybody have any questions for Guy out there? I can't, like, Anything I can't. at all. I answer any question. Ask me about grocery games. Ask me about the minute to win it. Does Ask anyone me about know Johnny who Garland. he is? Does everybody know who I am? Does anyone even know who Guy? Does anyone know who Guy Fieri oh. really is? Oh no, not I really. Think, I don't think Guy Fieri knows who you. No, Guy Fieri doesn't know. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I kind of created myself, self adventure. You're you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, you got the Wonka ticket. I got the golden ticket. You got the I got golden, the golden ticket, golden baby. Golden ticket. And a lovely voice to boot. This is from my good friend Jordan Adler, and every time I get a little low, I think to myself, but I've got the golden ticket. Hold on, look at that guy right there. That guy kind of looks like Jordan. I look like Jordan. That looks like Jordan. It's crazy. How many people wear blue glasses? 
A lot of people like rose colored glasses, but Jordan likes blue colored glasses because it's cool. Joshua's killing it back there, right? Oh, this is absolutely incredible. All right. And so you know what's amazing? He has not stopped since you started. I know. Oh. Except right there. Except right there. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. All so right. I want to ask you something. When you okay. built this kitchen, mm -hmm. did you have this elevated so you can work like this? Um, yes. This is sure. great. I love this. And actually, I'm going to show you a little secret. If I could have had it shorter, I would have, because when I take off my heels, oh. then I'm like this, y'all. You can't see my cleavage. It's all about the cleavage. It's all about the cleavage, baby. So it's like, I got to ask, if I were down here, I'd be like this. And I imagine this isn't a very good view. Get your chin out. Get your chin, chin up. up. Chin up, baby. That doesn't work for anybody. Chin up. Oh, yeah, everybody, like and subscribe. That's why we're here. That's right. right. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You got to subscribe, baby. But when you hit that notification bell, every time Melody's coming on, whatever platform, it lets you know. And you got to know, baby, because if you don't know, then you don't know. But if you know, then you know already. Right, okay, Oh, yeah. We are very close to 1,000 subscribers, so tell your friends, that help us get to that, that insane number, the magic number of 1,000. I think we're only like five, five away or something. Really, that's it. If you're watching right now, share this video with some, somebody. You tell them, hey, follow Melody Sweets because she needs to get over one thousand subscribers once you're there it's going to grow like crazy baby you know what i'm saying mm, that looks so good you can put it on a flip flop oh my goodness baby yeah that's the kind of food you're used to will you open that place sure, sure absolutely so this i'm using a different vanilla this week because uh i got gifted this last week by the beautiful is... penny pibs you mean santa? santa 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 gave me this he brought it all the way from mexico wow and uh, so i'm i'm a bit like i'm i'm blending some uh is that spicy vanilla does that have any there's a true vanilla it's just mexican which mexican means vanilla it's baby got, it's mexican <laughs> more potent more potent like most yeah. of the delicious things they grow all right let's see i love mexican food so a Mexican vanilla bean. Isn't that a fun word? Bean. 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 There's someone that, somebody bean. close by has that bean. Bean. Alright, so we just have to blend the ricotta and the half a cup of sugar. And you are a natural. You don't even like you just do it. You just go in, you put it in. Okay there. Am I doing the right thing? I think so. We're gonna go for it. Go for it, baby. We're going for it. I did this different last night, so <laughs> can I see how this... Oh, so you're improvising right now. Right now, yeah. I just made a boo-boo, but that's okay, because maybe it's... Oh, it's... Oh, it's okay. Wow. Right. Eight more. You can make it happen, baby. Tell a friend. Text a friend. Tell them to go on YouTube. Follow this beautiful young lady who loves to bake, who loves to cook, who does it every Friday. At 12 noon. 12 noon in the west, 3 p.m. in the east. Just eight more subscribers. We're not going to leave until we get those eight more subscribers. But, but I have things to do. I have a life. What do I do if, if we can't leave? Well, that's okay because it's a lie. And you can watch it after it's over on Melody's page. Don't go to videos, go to live. That way you can see the video right there. You won't miss anything. Wow, technology is amazing. It's truly amazing. And we need you to make it even more amazing. We just need eight more people to subscribe, baby. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video. It helps in the algorithms, baby. And let me let me tell you something. Algorithms make a big difference on YouTube and all these different platforms. Ooh, that looks good. So we've I got it in the bowl. And what you want to do is kind of get as much of it as you can against the bowl, metal bowl preferably. 
because it conducts the uh, heat and the cold better. Yeah, that's right. Yes. You know it. That's right, baby. And you want to get this chilled a little bit more so that it holds its uh, shape for a little longer because uh, it's all it is is cheese. So you always want to serve it uh, right before you uh, want to fill it right before you serve it. Right. Are we you doing know, that right here, baby? Because when I'm chilling, I'm grilling. But when you're chilling, you're doing something else entirely. Okay. So. An operation. It is an operation. Here we go. How's everybody doing out there? Well, uh, Dima, Marucci. Marucci. Sorry. Sorry, Dima. All the, pi all the paisans are watching because I'm on, baby. And loving your hair. And, uh, your style. My, my hair or his? My hair. His hair is kind of famous, so you have to maybe clarify. I'm going to pretend it's mine. Your hair is no, amazing. Is that egg white that you use? It's, we're using egg white. The natural, uh, natural so hair. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh
in the culinary world. If um, isn't it true that you can have like 17 of these and it'll be still less than eating one whole one, right? Yes. Those? Yeah. Yeah, the smaller ones have no calories. Yeah. We're going to get that in the freezer for uh, five minutes. Five minutes, And really. let the, uh, mm. the chocolate get there. We have let the cheese firm up a little bit in the uh, refrigerator. And have you seen my big spatula right here? Oh, I like being a guest on a cooking show because I don't have to do anything. Do you don't do ever do anything. I don't ever do anything. You just kind of like, go food. and you judge. Exactly. But I you can't it. ever really judge. I can't really judge because we, we have to be nice. Got to be very, very nice. But there are different, definitely tells on the show, and I don't like the food. Have you ever had a moment where you've tried something and you were like, oh my God, I want to get this out of my mouth yep. immediately? Absolutely. But you can't because that would be completely rude. I, I usually um, say something. Um, in general, ladies know what we're talking about. Right. They know. Sometimes I'll just go, mmm, that was unusual. Well, that was kind of good. Yeah, so I need you to practice now. So when you I eat my sure. cannoli, then no matter what. Let me tell you something about all the food. You know how to make great food? Love, baby. L-O-V-E. If you infuse it with love, it's going to be great. Believe me. Mm. Are you infusing your uh, infusing. cannolis with love? I infuse everything infusing. into my... Infusing. I can't help but notice that the color of this is the color of this. It's this, a thing. And this. I don't know how it happened. I'm not even that fond of pink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know because it certainly looks like y'all, baby. Right here. Right here. Melody, I have a rubber band. Question. What? I have an answer. Oh, okay. 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 It was a traditional for a man to give it to his promised fiance. Yes, so the men, good old Italian boys, would make it for their ladies. Oh. And Gary made him proud. Oh, yeah. look at that. Go. Thanks, Christine. Guy proud. Doesn't sound as good. Got proud, baby. Yeah. You know, I'm usually driving the bus to Flavor Town, but I think you're driving the bus to Flavor Town today. You are just killing it. Baby. I thought Flavor Town was a euphemism. Oh, it's anything you like. Anything you like. What are you, you doing know? later, guy? I'm going home to my wife. Oh. Yeah. You know, ever since I hit the big time. You're married? More. Oh, yeah. I'm I've impressed. Got, I've like, how many, can you check how many kids I have? Because I have so many kids, I don't even know. Is it the kids with just the one woman? It's kind of, yep, absolutely. Could you grab that black I'm a good Italian filled boy. filled with decoration stuff? You guys, put your hands together for the beautiful Buttercup. She's here every week doing her. I don't know if I'd get away with her in that apron. I mean, you should you should see if Food Network can... Uh, get her own show? Right? I think you should call them anyway and be like, look, we ha I have these look, friends. She needs her own show, yes, baby. Yes, her please. Own show. What do you do specifically? What do you cook? What's your speciality? I love stuff. All right, you've got your own show. Thank you. See does, that? She, does she really oh, cook? <laughs> All right, so you can do it all. It's made. You can make it. You can fill it. I enjoy this process a lot because it's very artistic. It reminds me of, uh, you know, things, mm -hmm. and it keeps my grip. Right, which is so important. You gotta, so you gotta get in there. You know what I mean? So important. You have two kids. I have two kids. Thank you. How old are they? <laughs> Right, that's right. How do you know all this? Yeah. Hunter and Ryder. Remember? Hunter and Ryder, that's, that's right. That's what you named your kids? Hunter, yeah. Well, they're very American. You know, I got a little leftover Italian. Oh, but Hunter cute. Fieri. Hunter Ryder Fieri. 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 Look at these cute little. Those are perfect. Oh. They fill right up. Oh, I like the way that's it. Yeah. Fieri. All right, and then we're gonna just top these off with yes, how decorations. How dare Can I you? Just hold these up for two seconds. I thought she was gonna Absolutely. eat it. Oh, yeah. Luckily, you're wearing the cannoli gloves. Yeah, these are the cannoli gloves. The cannoli gloves, baby. You can only get them at cannoli.com. 
Oh, they're part of your merchandise, make right? Make it really pretty with some. Oh, oh no. sorry, blue. Oh, God, no. blue, blue likes to do wow. that. He likes to say hi when you're working on the computer. Do you have merch? Do you have a merch thing no, attached to your YouTube? Not yet, because we have to hit a certain amount of. Oh, did we get those subscribers? Did we get those subscribers? If you're watching right now, send it to one person. Say, please, subscribe. We're so close. We are so close, baby. Mm. And so I'm using gold. I love gold and pink together. And it's for the new year. Happy new year soon, everybody. Happy new year, everybody. Seven more. We got one. Seven more. Glad to have spent this year this with is you. Beautiful. Thank you. It's really, really it gorgeous. It dried too quick, but here we have it. You can add extra balls if you like in like the um, balls are great. This part, you know, if you really want to. Yeah, just kind of bling, like bling it up. 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 Bling I know. Pink and green, obviously. I kind of like it. No, I do love it together. All right. Well, here we have my ruby chocolate pistachio cannoli. I Can you tell me where you got the cannolis pretty. again? You had mentioned it before. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got that. Mamma mia. Um, the cannoli shells were from our local Italian uh, shop that I go to, Cugino's. Thank you, Cugino's. I went there yesterday. I'm like, I need shells because I was going to make them myself, but I got a little overambitious. Next time. Oh, thank you, Buttercup. And look, you can see what it looks like with a white or black paint plate. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, very visual. Visual. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little more definition of the black. Mm -hmm. We'll put a couple of. Oh, yeah. I got here at the right time. Right. It's a special Sammy. edition of Diners, yeah. Drive Ins, and Dives Cannoli Only. Cannoli oh, Only. So beautiful. You want a little, a couple little uh, yeah. jam jams? I should jams. Put, put the baby ones in right. Yeah, there you go. Yes. yes it's yes, a cannoli yes. family. Oh, thank you. Oh, your babies. And if you have extra cannoli cream, you can do this. Hold on. This is exciting. Be back Excuse me. Oh, guys. No problem. <laughs> so if you have oh, extra cannoli cream, will you grab the pizzelles back there? Don't tell me you made pizzelles. I didn't make the pizzelles. I could make the pizzelles, but I you press. went. You got a press. I went to Cugino. So they have them and wow. got these. I got these just in case my cannoli is messed up and I had something to do. And so what you can do is dip it in chocolate so that one side is covered in chocolate and put it in there and it'll look really pretty. But I don't want to dip the chocolate right now because all I want to do is eat these cannoli. Yes, you can crunch the shells all over it and uh, leave it as a dip. You're so right. That mm. is gorgeous. All right, let's dig in, everybody. All right, come on Here in. We go. So we can do a countdown. So if someone wanted to watch this uh, on New Year's Eve. They can watch it at, at 11 o'clock, and then we can do a countdown. So you can live. The cannoli countdown, baby. The cannoli countdown. The cannoli so countdown. Uh, live uh, the new year with us. Give a little champagne glass. Yeah. All right, everybody, get ready. You're going to want to DVR this section for New Year's Eve, baby. Wow. We're going to be ringing in the new year cannoli style. We're going to do a countdown? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with the, and I can't reach something too. Oh, what, what's what the idea? I think there's champagne glasses on, on the other side of the room. I'm always in the Joshua way. Joshua Back to the friends with me. So other than oh. yours, which I'm sure are absolutely fantastic, where's the best cannolis you've ever had? 
I've ever had. You've ever had. New there, York. Was this, there was this place on 1st and 10th Street in New York. It's not there anymore. The last time I went, what is on my toes? Champagne. Champagne. Oh, that's, that's okay. uh, but it was a place called Terralucci. Do you remember Terralucci. that place? Christina. Christina. The Nero's has pretty good, the famous There's Veneros. a place off of uh, the Poughkeepsie bus, uh, off of the train in New York. It's a... Uh, it's in the train station. It's a really cute bakery uh, in Poughkeepsie. They have amazing. One thing so upstate. I know upstate is like people make fun and put their noses. They do. Upstate's beautiful. I know, but like they're like it's not New York. But you know what? A lot of people from New York go there. That's good to know. All right. Should all right. we, um, we, should we all have some cannoli? cannoli? Everybody, come on in. Come on in, everybody. Please come in. Come in. Everybody have a cannoli, please. I'm going to have a little one because I ate about 50 last night. <laughs> Just testing the recipe, of course. Trying to nail it cannoli, all down. everyone. Cannoli. Wait a minute. Jordan's here. What are the odds of that, baby? Have some cannoli around. A cannoli for you. Come on in. Yeah. Cannoli, friends. Benigno, no cannoli? Come on, have a cannoli. Come on in. Hey. You can't have a cannoli unless you show your face. Hey. Cannoli. There we go. Pass some cannoli back. Don't drop cannoli for the dogs. They had enough for them last night. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy Cheers. New Year. Happy, Happy 2024, baby. Wait, 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 wait. Thank wait, wait. We have the countdown. Oh, we have the countdown. Oh, okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flavor down to 2024. Oh my God. This is off the hook, man. This is so good. It's gonna slap your mouth. It's got it's creamy. The ricotta brings that little tang. The, the texture is really uh, the texture is really oh. nice. Oh sorry. Okay. You have the Talking pistachios. Crispiness of the shell. Mm. Everything is perfect. All the flavors are there. Mm. It's a nice little symphony of flavor. The ruby like chocolate. Ruby chocolate kind of takes it somewhere else. Uh, like a little acidity. I love ruby chocolate. I think almost every recipe we've used have had ruby chocolate. Oh, good, baby. I'll switch it up. The bag's almost gone. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Yeah, like another three minutes. Woo! Lunch, right? We should extend just a bit because we keep cutting it a little short. Oh, what happened? Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. So wishing us New Year in the May. Kitchen, Jay, Johnny, Dirty. Do you have any uh, resolutions? I do. I would like to wear less more often. Mm. Oh. Wear less more often. I like that. That's a good one. Uh, I can see that on a t-shirt in your merch store. Oh, yeah. Oh, coming Just soon. To you. I think that's my resolution every year. Really? Yeah. Does it work for you? It does some years. Yeah. Yeah. I try, you know. You can't get everything you want. I saw that song say. Well, my resolution is I'm going to eat more, visit more restaurants, and open more of my own restaurants. But also help as many people as I can. Oh, yeah, that's nice. that. yeah. Be kind. Yeah. Be kind, nice. baby. Especially this year. Got. I feel like this year is going to get a little crazy. So let's all take care of each other. Be help kind. Out. Be and kind. actually communicate with people. Yeah. Don't just sit back behind your computer like a. Our little Unless you're watching boy. this show, communicate. Right. right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking. You know what I'm talking. Hey, can we find out where everybody's from who's watching? Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Well, we know we have someone in Italy. We have some Rome. We got the Paisanos watching, baby. Mm -hmm. Hey, Paisan. 
We got some Armenians in Glendale. Represent. Hey yeah. Okay, we got the Armenians. We got the Italianos. Mm -hmm. Did you notice Santa last week was a little Armenian? Oh yeah. Who was Armenian? Canada. All right, I love Canada, baby. It's like another country up there. Hi, Canada. Hello, Canada. A lot of Canadians come to Las Vegas. Really? No, a lot, a lot. Dave is coming in from Houston, Scenic, New Jersey. Dave uh, from Scenic, New Jersey, baby. As we be north or south? Yeah. I'm a Jersey girl. Yeah, north or south Jersey. Because north is pretty much New York, and south is pretty much Philadelphia. I mean, that word, those words, pretty much are very broad. It's not really proud. It's pretty much. He's south. How dare you? Right. It's 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 south. But he's a Philly guy. Uh, Philly, Jerry that's right. South Jersey. Oh, bring it on, Dirty. Oh, let's hear it. It's her revolution. It's more dessert, dogs, and Melody. Yeah, oh, I love you, Dirty. <laughs> We're going to get her, her, her here all the time. And she's coming to us from the horseshoe. All right. Okay. Horseshoe. She's right here. Oh, that's fantastic. Go and baby. see Dirty and Dita's show. It's a beautiful show. Lots of glittery, the fabulousness, room, right? and Dirty is always a sight to see. She brings the energy, and we love watching She's her She's a pro, baby. She's a pro. I think yeah. my last resolution, resolu resolution uh, yeah. is to... Um, <laughs> Uh, is to get us to 1,000 followers this year. Let's do it this year, everybody. Let's do it this hour, baby. Just, we can make it happen. Just go on someone else's YouTube. This is what I've been doing. Just go. <laughs> don't tell Wait, what they're doing. They're not so going to know. how many subscribers are you? Don't worry about it. Okay. It doesn't matter. So go on whoever's phone is open. Go on their thing. And then if they're like, hey, what are you doing? Just, like, distract them with something. Did you drink your cleavage? And then, and then, just like like they're not gonna know. No one knows. I, I agree with you. This is what you do. You're somewhere, and someone says, "Hey, can you take our picture?" Oh, you yeah, take yeah. that phone. You go YouTube, and you just go right in Melody have the phone. Subscribe, yeah. TV, subscribe. And then that's all you need to do. They'll never know. It's not gonna hurt them. And then they'll see Melody's face all the time, which is always pleasant. Is it? Aw, that's nice that you say that. Uh, <laughs> that's perfect. Because you've seen me all, all different times. That's the best. It's always the best. <laughs> I know it sounded weird the way yeah, I said it. Yeah, you said it pretty dry. But it is. I know. But that's it is. the best. It's the best. Oh, I have not been programmed to Not at all, this. baby. Not at all. Well, all I got to say is, holy moly, stromboli, that was some good cannoli. <laughs> All right. Do you want to sing us out? Um, 994. Welcome to the sweet spot. Welcome to the sweet spot, baby. Welcome to the sweet spot, baby. I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to say happy holidays. Be safe next year. Everyone put your hands together for our very special guest. Guy Fieri. Fieri. Everyone for tuning in week after week for all the help. Benigno, help and wrangle oh, the yes. dogs. Bring in the music. Thank you. Bummer Pup here every week. Yeah. Appreciate it. has been such a huge help and, of course, brings the fabulousness every week. Joshua Danger back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the sweet spot. Anyway, thank you, you guys. We hope to see you soon. Tell all your friends to like and subscribe, please. And or just um, go on their YouTube and do it. Anyway. <laughs> and let us know if uh, you make the recipe. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.